In today's data-driven world, businesses generate massive amounts of data, and turning raw data into actionable insights requires skilled data engineers. And this is where the Microsoft Certified Fabric Data Engineer Associate DP700 comes in. This Microsoft Certified Fabric Data Engineer Associate DP700 is more than just another certification. It is your key to high-impact roles in the data world. As businesses compete to harness the power of data, skilled fabric data engineers are in greater demand than ever before. So are you ready to take your data career to the next level? Let's dive in. But before we begin, please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest tech content from Edureka. Also check out Edureka's training and certification courses, the link to which is in the description box below. As of January 14, 2025, Microsoft officially launched the DP700 Data Engineering exam, moving it from beta to general availability. This marks the second certification exam they have released for data engineering, solidifying its importance in the Microsoft certification landscape. With a DP700 certification, you could secure roles like Fabric Data Engineer, Azure Data Engineer or Cloud Data Architect. In India, salaries range from 10 lakh to 35 lakh rupees annually. While in the United States, certified professionals earn between $110,000 to $193,000 per year. And companies like Microsoft, Accenture, and Deloitte are actively seeking professionals skilled in Microsoft Fabric. But what is the DP700 exam? The DP700 exam is your gateway to becoming a Microsoft Certified Fabric Data Engineer Associate. It tests your ability to design, implement, and optimize data solutions using Microsoft Fabric. And if you want to validate your expertise in data pipelines, lake houses, and real-time analytics, this certification can set you apart in the competitive data industry. But why should you get DP700 certified? Becoming DP700 certified requires a significant investment of time and effort. But is it worthwhile? Absolutely. This certification provides structure to your learning, demonstrating that you have a solid foundation in Microsoft Fabric Data Engineering. It greatly improves your credibility, career prospects, and earning potential. Furthermore, with a growing demand for skilled data engineers, this certification can help you land high-paying jobs at top tech companies. Data engineering is at the heart of every modern data platform, enabling dependable AI and decision-making. As businesses recognize their critical role, the demand for skilled data engineers is skyrocketing. As AI continues to reshape industries, mastering Microsoft Fabric will put you ahead of the competition and prepare you for the lucrative career opportunities. Now let's have a look at what does the DP700 exam cover. The DP700 exam focuses on Microsoft Fabric Data Engineering and assessing candidates on three main areas, such as implementing and managing an analytics solutions, ingesting and transforming data, and monitoring and optimizing an analytics solutions. The exam consists of 50 to 60 questions, including a case study with around 10 questions. And each of three sections carries equal weight, meaning you will see a balanced number of questions across them. So here are the key exam topics. So first is the implementing and managing and analytic solutions, which will include 15 to 20 questions. The workspace and tenant level administration ensures efficient management of Power BI and fabric environments, enabling structured governance and resource control. Version control and deployment pipelines play a key role in CI CD strategies streamlining report development and deployment process. Access control like RLS, OLS, column level security, dynamic data masking, safeguards data by restricting visibility at various levels, ensuring compliance with security policies. Data governance, including certification, endorsement and sensitive labels, help maintain data integrity, classification and regulatory adherence. Next. Orchestration patterns and activities optimize data workflows through automated refreshes, event-driven processing, and efficient data movement, ensuring scalable and well-managed analytic solutions. And the second key topic is ingesting and transforming data, which will include 15 to 20 questions. The data ingestion methods such as pipelines, data flows, notebooks, and event streams enable efficient data acquisitions from various sources. Full versus incremental loading strategies along with Spark, SQL, and PySpark implementation ensures optimized processing for large datasets. Data storage solutions like lake houses, data warehouses, and event houses provide structured storage for analytical workloads. 
real time streaming and event driven processing using azure event hubs and iot hub facilitate low latency data handling query optimization and joint performance considerations improve execution speed and resource efficiency ensuring high performance analytics solution next the third key exam topic is monitoring and optimizing an analytics solutions and which will include 15 to 20 questions monitoring methods for lake houses warehouses pipelines and event streams ensure system health and data integrity error handling and debugging in pyspark jobs and pipelines help identify and resolve failures efficiently also the performance optimization strategies in microsoft fabric enhance the resource utilization and query execution query refactoring using tsql kql and pyspark improves performance for large datasets ensuring faster and more efficient analytics workflows now let us have a look at DP700 versus DP600. Both DP700 and DP600 are Microsoft certifications related to data analytics, but they focus on different roles and skill sets. So let's have a look. DP700, Azure Cosmos DB Developer Speciality, focuses on designing, implementing, and optimizing solutions using Azure Cosmos DB. It covers data modeling, partitioning strategies, indexing policies and API integrations for NoSQL databases, suitable for developers working with highly scalable distributed databases. Whereas DP600 implementing analytics solutions using Microsoft Fabric focuses on implementing and managing Microsoft Fabric analytics solutions, including data engineering, data warehousing, real-time analytics, and AI integration. It is ideal for professionals working with Microsoft Fabric, Power BI, Synapse, and other Azure analytics tools. If your focus is on big data, analytics, and AI-driven insights, DP600 is more relevant. If you're working with NoSQL and distributed databases, DP700 is the better choice. Now, let us understand about the DP700 exam. The Microsoft Fabric certification exam includes 40 to 60 questions, scored on a scale from 0 to 1000, with a passing mark set at 700. The exam duration is 100 minutes, with an additional 20 minutes allocated for preparation and setup. Total 120 minutes. Candidates have the option to take the exam online or at the designated test center. And the exam includes various question formats such as multiple choice, case studies, which may include multiple questions related to single scenario. Next, drag and drop and ordering list. To familiarize yourself with these question types, it's advisable to utilize Microsoft Learn resources and practice using the exam sandbox. And the exam fee varies by region, costing 4,865 rupees in India and $165 in the United States. Earning the Microsoft Certified Fabric Data Engineer Associate Certification distinguishes you as a proficient professional in data engineering, particularly with Microsoft Fabric. By passing the DP700 exam, you validate your expertise in designing and implementing data solutions, enhancing your career prospects in the evolving field of data engineering. And with this, we have come to an end of this Microsoft Certified Fabric Data Engineer Associate DP700 video. If you have enjoyed listening to it, please be kind enough to like it and you can comment on any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Do look up for more videos and playlists and subscribe to the Edureka's YouTube channel to learn more. Thank you for watching and happy learning.